So when should you apply for a technical job when you're just starting out? As a web developer, it is very intimidating going out there and trying to find your first job. You have all this anxiety that you don't know enough. You have maybe some imposter syndrome. You maybe think that uh, you are way underqualified and no one's going to hire you. You look at job postings. Most of them ask for someone that has at least two years, three years of experience, and you're just either right out of school or right out of a coding boot camp, or you just self-taught yourself for the last six months. So you're going to have a lot of doubt and anticipation on your first job, and it's always it's always difficult to know when you should start applying for jobs. I mean, especially if you're first starting to learn, you don't know any web development at all, and you're just starting to look at free code camp or code schools or code fight or code academy. I mean, all these different websites out there, it's really difficult to know like when, when do you go and start applying for jobs out there? When is the right time? Now, of course, I would say if you have graduated from your coding boot camp, that curriculum and program really pushes you to get a job as soon as possible because you are going to be the most brightest and, and you're going to understand everything you've just went through in the last six weeks or 10 weeks of your program. So that is obviously the ideal time to go and start looking for a job. And you have to understand that looking for a job as a web developer or programmer is a uh, it's not an event, it's kind of an experience. And what I mean by that is that you need to plan it out just as if you are just as if you are planning f uh, a game or a or you're in a basketball game or a football game. So you want to plan out like which jobs you're most interested in, which ones you're going to apply for and understand that you need to learn from each job that you apply for and it's going to take probably more than one interview. So you might line up five interviews, 10 interviews, but you're gonna learn from each one of those interviews and you're gonna keep trying. And that is kind of the mentality that you have. You can't take one interview and take it personally, especially if you don't get it. And so you would definitely wanna plan for what you're looking for and then start getting your resume out there. And you'd be surprised. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of employers want looking for are looking for new developers. They know they can pay them probably a little bit less than experienced developers or people with college degrees. Um, so you so but there are definitely developers and and jobs out there that will go well together. Now, if you're just going the self-taught route route, and you're trying to figure out what to do. I would say make sure that you do a couple things and then start applying. And one of those couple of things are make sure you put up a website with either your first name, last name, that you put some content on that website, try to put a little bit of your skills, either create a blog or put a little bit of a portfolio, put us up some accomplishments, look at the millions of other people that have these type of websites out there. And you also want to uh, try to make sure you know the basics of html css and javascript those are like the three foundations that you should work on especially of course if you're looking for a web development job now if you're looking for like working in java or c sharp then you want to focus on those as your fundamentals before you start applying but i would say after you've even spent just a few weeks you you've taken some time you've put in some effort to put up a website you put up a little bit of portfolio you started a github account you've started learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I think at that time you start applying for jobs. Now, if you're in a small little town and there's only five jobs and there's nothing else out there, then of course you may want to be a little bit more selective and, and try to really cater or, or really shape what your resume and what you're working on for those three jobs before, or those five jobs, so that's all that's available in your area before you start applying. But you'll quickly find out that uh, especially in most major cities, there's many, many jobs for web developers, for programmers. So you're going to have lots and lots of choices. If you're willing to move the area, you're going to have even a bigger, bigger area and a bigger amount of jobs to look for, and that will work too. So just keep that in mind. Now, don't get in the trap of thinking that you can get a remote job, especially if you're right out of school, right out of boot camp, or you're right out of 
uh, teaching yourself programming and, and web development. That is not going to work. There's very, very few employers that will hire someone, uh, a beginning or new programmer at, at a remote job. And that's really not something you want to do anyways, because you want to be in an environment with programmers that are much better than you. So you can learn off them. You can kind of raise your bar because when you're starting off, you're down here, you want to reach up here. So you really want to be in an environment with other programmers, other developers that have been there for years. That way you can learn from them. The only thing I would say that would be a caveat to that is if you want to get into freelancing. So I have seen people do this that have very little experience in programming and they've been able to start off as a freelancer just doing sites for friends and family, building up a portfolio that way and then going on and getting a job somewhere or they continue on and just start charging more and more money as they kind of level up. That that works too. Of course, it's going to be hard to be a freelancer if you don't have much experience, you don't have a portfolio, you don't have an online presence. So you have to be careful in that aspect too. So I would say definitely start applying very quickly, but just do some of those fundamental things. If you don't have a website, if you don't have any sort of portfolio, you don't have a GitHub, you don't have any online presence and you start applying for places, it is going to be really, really hard. I mean, you might get one or two, you might get actual interviews and you're going to have to just wow those people. Um, it would be harder, but if you kind of at least put in some sort of some sort of basic things you have your linkedin you have a little bit of portfolio you're going to land more of those job interviews and at that point then you can really wow the person um the the person that you're interviewing and be willing and be honest with them that you're willing to take a pay cut now i've had a couple people email me this saying they've tried the strategy and they've gone on like five six nine interviews and haven't got a job yet Sometimes it takes that long. Sometimes you have to go for a lot of interviews. But I would say if, you, if you're hitting like nine or 10 interviews and you still haven't landed that job, you really need to take a step back and figure out what you're doing wrong. Why aren't you getting these jobs? Are you not learning from what people are telling you? What is causing the problem here? And uh, just keep going. You're like, don't give up. But you, at that point, you really need to start thinking like, what, what am I doing wrong? Why am I not getting these jobs? So keep that all in mind. Definitely just try to, to get out there, try to start applying, but make sure you have at least some fundamentals in place and realize that it's not an event. It's a process that's going to take multiple interviews. It's going to take a lot of time. It's not something you're going to quit your day job right away. Thanks. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. And by the way, I have a new book out, The Vue.js in action. I'm going to leave a link here below. You can check it out. If you sign up for my mailing list, I'm giving discounts out on it so you can get the book for cheaper. If you're a brand new web developer and you're looking for that awesome framework, Vue.js is the way to go and I teach it in this book. Thanks. Take care.